So I gotta start doing a little bit of welding. <laughs> and look, look what I did. I kept my welding helmet in the original package so it's not all covered with dust and dirt and grime and I might be able to see through it. Crystal clear. Okay, so I got this thing all fitted up. I got the outer piece on, the inner piece on. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of tacking. I'll tack these two together, I'll tack that piece on and then we'll just uh, try to get an idea how it fits. Eventually I'm going to have to actually hack all that stuff off there, the old uh, rotten material, and fit those pieces in. So that's what I'm going to get started on now. Get in there with my helmet on. It's kind of a tight spot. I think that's going to be enough to hold that one. Now I'll go do the other side. Take it off there and uh, start welding it up a little bit. Very slowly. Not too crazy hot. It is warming up. Not bad though. I can still touch it. That was probably a little too long. Since it's such an unusual shape, I don't think it's going to distort too much. Since it comes in at two angles, it's not like I'm welding two flat pieces together. Okay, I got them both welded up. Um, I got to do a little bit more welding on this one. Not much though, I'm just about there. I got to clean these up a little bit. But I already welded and ground this one. And I'm not probably going to do much more on the back of that. I'll probably clean it up, wire it out. and This will all get cleaned up and uh, I'm going to paint it with something. Maybe I'll hit it with that um, metal etching primer and then that, galvi that galvanized coating from Rust-Oleum on the back side or maybe I'll just spray actual paint on it. No, I haven't decided yet. Whatever will hold up, you know. And I got this ground off. So this, we got her looking pretty good. It's about what it's going to look like. 
I gotta place it in place and trim it out. I got that cut. Looks looking like it's gonna go in there pretty good. The funny part is most from here, from this point over, nobody sees it anyway because the fender clamps down over it. I'll drill three holes in this and bolt the carriage bolt from the back side so it sticks out through. I'll have to look at the fenders. I don't think they're that thick. I think the fender itself is only about a quarter inch thick. So if I'm sticking through a half inch, I could make them a little longer because I can always put them on and then cut them off flush. Kind of like what they did from the factory because this is still factory right here. This is the box, um, the truck bed. And I bought it this way and it had these studs sticking out. This is what they bolted the fenders onto. And on the back side, it's a flat. Yeah, yeah that, that flat head right there is on the back side. So if I can come up with some kind of bolt like this, I think on these, believe it or not, I think what I'll do is just run a, run a die on these, get them so they'll hold a nut. Because they're all sticking out far enough. The treads are kind of kind of funky because they've been rusting for 70 years, so. Yeah. Um, incomprehensible.